almost all cities in Germany, like there was the same problem. People wouldn't have affordable space for their creative work. So they would like think about alternative use in between use of empty buildings. Uh, and there was the issue also like in Hamburg because rents are really high that people uh, in 2009 actually decided together to occupy buildings and not do it like normally like the autonomous style like you normally do it but we called it a little bit the policy of the open doors so we tried to like occupy uh, some 12 houses in downtown Hamburg with this kind of uh, it was a street party over a weekend each house kind of by like during the development process got its own character. So one is more like the street artists living there, the other one is more the political left-wing activists there, and the other one is more like people interested in classical forms of art exhibitions. And around there's just like sky skyscrapers. So like the Google headquarters of Germany, Facebook headquarters of Germany, ExxonMobil headquarters of Germany, it's the direct neighbors, door to door. Like and Gengefiddle is just like 50 meters, like it's this old harbor worker house. They wanted to also take them down. And that's also why it's this pretty special contrast. We are pretty used to using long email uh, lists and stuff like that. And uh, that's also why uh, we decided to look for a different, because it's not practical at all. The woman in our collective called Hanna Kowalski, she actually introduced Lumio. Uh, that we now at the moment use um, when there's more discussions that go more in depth, that we can't just decide on the main assembly because there's more preparation needed. So then we decide, look, okay, let's do that in Lumio. So people transfer that question to Lumio, people discuss it for one or two weeks, and then it goes back to the main assembly. There was a lot of uh, decisions about like building issues. One was like we have this pretty known um, bar or meeting place at one of the corners that was kind of the living room of the whole collective because there, yeah, a lot of people and that got renovated so there was an entrance situation how should that entrance look like after it's renovated that's a pretty practical issue then you could like there was different drafts the architect proposed and so people could discuss about color what windows blah 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 or like to put on Lumi the discussion about how what kind of form of ownership we want for the formerly occupied houses in the future, because that's at the moment what we discuss with the municipality, whether it's like we buy it, we rent it as a total, there's a lot of really detailed solutions. And that's what Lumi is actually pretty good for. Uh, because when you think about like a collective of 200 people, it's a question also of scale. If you want that really everyone is part of a decision, uh, it's almost not possible on the main assembly, because then people like, you know, like, the way they speak, some are really like outgoing and loud. So those that don't are, don't have this ability to speak in front of uh, in public just have a problem to be heard, and that's of course a lot easier when you have an online tool. Kind of like everyone has an equal say, and that's pretty perfect. And also, second thing is more complex decisions. Just takes too long. People get tired. One hour meeting, no one listens. Sit with. 50 to 60 people in a room and discu discuss about trying to find a decision on something. It's, there are certain limits to that. And I think you get more qualified uh, decisions where more voices get heard and you go, yeah, and the results are just uh, better in the end. Like as soon as people come to the collective gang of little, like they walk into it and like immediately they think like, okay, it's co working completely different. They get incredibly inspired how to rethink the way they normally live. I think it's pretty cool to actually try to do it, like this kind of, not to always leave it in a hypothetical space that you, oh, we might have a future where we are closer together, work more together and share things more evenly, but really to try to do it on an everyday basis.